Ah, great discussion, Jim. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing that. Um, I'm, I'm you know, very interested in learning about this, but I think like so many other things in the world today, if you learn it at a given you know, static point in history, your lesson is, is old. Yeah. You know, 20 minutes later. Yeah. Um, so let me ask you, where do you think, I know it's speculation, but where do you think this is going to go? Um, uh, let, me, let me characterize it to begin with as uh, the unstoppable force will meet the immovable object. <laughs> There's a song by that name. <laughs> I, uh, whatever. But uh, we have two people who are leading this thing who are not dependable uh, who, who who shift with the wind. You don't know which way they're going to go, And uh, uh, first of all. And which two are you talking about? Uh, Trump and Kim. Okay, not, not Xi Jinping. No, no. He's more predictable. No, yeah, he, yeah. He, and, and, and anyway, yeah, that, no, the, uh, the, the two main people who are supposed to meet, we do not know when, we do not know where. Uh, there have been preliminary talks, and look, here's what I think. Uh, if I were allowed to give my advice, I would. My advice would be that we should follow uh, Seoul and Beijing's lead. Where where they want to take this, we should follow their lead. And if they want to posit us as kind of the point man, that's fine. But we should follow their lead because they are the ones who know and understand North Korea. And we Americans, we do not. We do not know and understand North Korea. And not only that, but uh, our, our real Korean specialist, Joseph Yun, a longtime diplomat, has retired just recently. Ooh. He's not on board to help out with Maybe this. Maybe we can get him on the show. And uh, <laughs> he, what else is he doing right now? And, and, and we have no U.S. ambassador to Seoul. At this time, we're going to have a, a, a record-breaking breaking meeting between the President of the United States and the dictator of North Korea, and we have no ambassador in Seoul, Korea. So, uh, and, and, and the other thing is, frankly, the State Department has virtually been gutted. Uh, Tillerson, we, we, we don't have a Secretary of State right now, okay? And uh, uh, because uh, uh, the new one come from the CIA, what is this? The CIA work is not important enough that you can take the guy out and move him to state, that the, the director of Homeland Security is not an important job enough that you can take him out and you can make him your, your chief of staff. What, what, what? no, none of this adds up. You know, we, we are, like my football coach used to say, once you get past that line, now it's broken field running. So you don't know where they're coming from, and you don't know which direction to go. And we are in That's broken where we field. are. Yeah. We're in broken field running right you now. You know, a few years ago, uh, a fellow named Simon Winchester at um, the East West Center wrote a book called Pacific. And one of the chapters, which is very visionary, was about the South China Seas. Uh -huh. And it was about... Um, about China, you know, building islands and and taking, you know, possession and and enforcing their, you know, their their presence there yeah. uh, for the purpose that you described. Uh, and what he said, which disturbed me at the time I read it, was that um, you know, in case you hadn't noticed, the U.S. has lost its hegemony in that area. We used to be, you know king of that whole area. Yeah. We, were, we were the overarching uh, power expressing ourselves in so many ways. Exactly. But that's no longer the case. It hasn't been the case in a few years. That's right. Even back to the Obama administration. And certainly now, I yeah. mean, imagine imagine having a, a, a history a history making meeting without having a secretary of state and, and gutting, yeah. you know, and gutting the State Department yeah. first. Yeah. Um, so, you know, my, my question is, isn't this on a track that further reduces our influence yes. in Asia. Yes, yes it is. Uh, not only that, uh, look, I know H.R. McMaster. Uh, I did studies at West Point in U.S. military history. When he was on the faculty, he was a young major just out of the Battle of 73 Easting in the Iraq War. And I know him very, very well. H.R. McMaster has no experience in Asia. So he's a national security advisor, at least up until last week. 
He's a national security advisor, but he has and Tillerson has no experience in Asia. So the the and uh, and uh, Pompe Pomp Pompeo Pomp 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 Pompeo Pompeo no experience in Asia. So the guys up on the bridge are steering the ship, and they have no experience in Asia.